We've got right. two new guys. That's all. Major, major, you know what I mean? Major wise, oh. Looking at heavy glory. Ain't nothing comes with the territory. Fake phone with the gaze, they just stay ready for me. Flame starter, mage archer, for real, my aim sharper. Straight barra, control the serpent like a snake charmer. Create great karma, rule relate harder. Swing it for your town like my name, Parker. At me, at M A G E V I Z O. The guy, Kof, Killer K. Yeah. Well, well, so hold on, hold on, hold on. Are you leaving the last regret right now? No, 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 leave, dude. Leaving apples. No, no, no. Yes. Have, have you even got apples? I'm free. You're free. To do what? To do whatever I want, man. What can you do? Everything. What? Everything. It's a new argument. I remember I thought it was either one or the other. And when I came with a back street, I was like, wait, I thought it was like main road. No, I came with a back street. Kof. What's going on? There you go, right. They're going to be doing, well, we're going to have various people doing two bits worth, but the other guys are uh, going to concentrate on our projects. Yep. Uh, Reclaw's still in the building, but I'm just going to let you guys get a feel for the new team. So, I'm going to chuck a random subject at them. Well, first of all, we'll talk about boxing. What do you think of the state in bo of, of boxing now? In which, which category? Though? As in... Like, do you feel like it's lost its wow factor? Do you think there's too many overrated people or underrated? Well, Ty for example, Tyson Fury is a lineal champion, which he technically isn't if you really check the history. Like, the lineal champion stopped with Lennox Lewis, but anyway. Um, Tyson Fury is good for the, the entertainment value or prior to the fight. But when you really check the last four fights Tyson Fury's had, he's had two guys, I can't even remember their names, who are nobodies. Then he had Wilder, and this Wallen guy, like, who took him really to, took him to the end. Plus his eye open. So, I don't think Tyson Fury is, 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 is um, somebody I want to run out and watch. This uh, Andy Ruiz and um, Anthony Joshua thing. Um, obviously watching, you know, the destruction because it was a destructive um, finishing. Um, I just can't wait to see Anthony Joshua punch his face in, to tell the truth, because I, I don't really like the way Andy Ruiz is moving. He's moving very like he, like it was an entitlement, and um, I think that we're going to see Anthony Joshua punch him up, and I reckon it'll be about within the first three rounds. Um, I think Joshua should win. I think his career hangs on it. Of course it does. Um, I think we'll go into this fight with nerves. I think, do you know what it is? He'll go into a fight with nerves because he knows if he gets caught. I don't know how, how resilient he is to getting caught. Um, I think he's susceptible for the camera. Um, but all, all the smart money would go on the Joshua destruction of Ruiz. But I just feel like after that first fight, he will be a little bit hesitant. At the end of the day, if you watch the first fight, because obviously as a, as a boxing fan myself, when you saw the first fight, one, Joshua was backing off and his jab wasn't doing anything at all. So it was like, you're walking and playing right into Ruiz's hands because you're stepping back, not really applying pressure. And Ruiz is a high pressure fight, high volume in punches. But in this fight here, I think, because you saw what happened when, when Joshua applied the power, he punched him up and he was on the floor. It was only when he went for the kill when he was a bit... A bit, uh, what's the word? He, was, he wasn't very um, cautious in the ending. Mm. Um, he should have cooked his, 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 his meal a bit more before finishing it. But yeah, that's that's basically uh, my viewpoint of that. The Wilder fight in um, Ortiz next. The guy he's already beaten. Um, that's tried to you know really add into his name in that sense. Joshua obviously lost to Ruiz and now he's coming back. So in the heavyweight division, I think it's, it's kind of lost its wild well factor because the right fights ain't getting put together. It's to be fair to counter that. I think it's actually quite healthy. I think now it's like there's a bit of competition. I like the fact that you got Derek Chisora is still chipping away, still trying to make his late claim to fame, and he's still there. And obviously, you've still got flipping Dillian White still doing bits. So I think obviously he's still got to kind of overcome that whole he's drug issue. He's gonna overcome that. But he'll overcome that. Um, but I think it's all right. I think it's competitive because you've got the upper tier. So yeah. You've got, you've got the you've got Wilder Fury. Joshua and Ruiz now, mm -hmm. we just sneaked in there. <laughs> then, but then on the next point, you've got um, you've got Dillian Wilder who's like the gatekeeper, and then underneath Chisora, Price, mm -hmm. and everybody else, and these, the people Usyk, and the people down here, other than Usyk, they're gonna try and probably a team with him. They're not gonna break through the ceiling. Yeah, so, so I understand. Yeah, so that says yeah, and that says anyway, yeah. it's a bit slow at the moment. I think right, right. fights need to be made. Cool. And the last subject we're gonna speak about: gang violence in the streets of the UK at the moment. 
I think one thing with gang violence, because it's a coming up from you know, I'm from Northwest London and that, and I've like I said, I've seen a lot of stuff. Uh, I think it's more um, seen now because we got all the, the the social media, we got the the phones with the videos. I think a lot of stuff was happening back in the day, not probably to the the the, the um, Extentness of the extent of right now, but I think things were still happening. This is access. Um, obviously, crap getting stabbed in in, in the um, event up in Birmingham the other day was a madness. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that one, I think these days now, if someone's getting beaten up on live on 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 a, on a, um, on a video phone. Or it can get brought, if people from across the world are seeing it. Yeah. Embarrassment is a deep thing because now it's spiraling out of effect. So now that person has to come back. On the TV, so to speak, on 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 screen, mm. to, to reclaim that 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 um that, that respect, that to pride. reclaim that pride. Yeah, it's very true. And then, and the youth are not understanding that thirty years in prison, your life's missing, not coming. It's it's, it's over. It's not even thirty, but sometimes, like I don't think there's, there's there's enough emphasis put on like how precious life is. But I think going going from grassroots, I think people, like kids growing up are so disillusioned with the system. There are so many flaws in it. We're losing a generation of kids. Of course. Yeah. And it starts from young. First of all, you're doing like little bits like moving food or whatever else, and before you know it, you're getting involved in your rats. You are you are involved because that's the life you've chosen. That like those are the boys you're I always, with. I always say that and it's like to I've, get out is it's difficult. Yeah. If 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 your if your clique have got trouble with XYZ, so you've got to then back that. That it wasn't even your beef, but now it is your beef. And it spirals and it spirals and before you know it, it's like, well. Isn't that way of moving with them? Yeah. You, you personally you might be a cool kid. The social media as well. You know what I'm saying? You might be a cool kid. And then before you know it, you're being jumped on a set up and then blah, blah, blah. And then that spirals. Yeah, right, and it's back and it's forth and it's back and it's forth. Even when certain people are going back and forth for their beef, especially in like, for example, the music thing as well, um, reading the comments. You know, nothing, you can see enough of these people in these comments haven't had no part of anything that's happened there, but they feel involved. They feel like, I'm down, I'm this person, I like, they feel involved in these yeah, things, yeah. yeah? And it's almost like they want to prove they're involved. Do you understand? They want to prove themselves. It's commercialized. Before it was a thing, it's not nice. It's not nice, you know, you've seen someone die in front of you. It's not nice. Someone go in prison for 30 years. It's not nice, because you have to understand, prison's not a joke, do you know what I'm saying? It's not a joke. And if you can't use your fists, or you haven't got something about you in where you can, you know what I mean, uh, what's it called again? Claim your respect. You're effed in, inside the prison. So all these people who've gone like a bad, got nice, got 30 men behind them, once you get locked up, you see what happened then. Man. On that note, we'll wrap that up. We'll wrap that up. Yeah, fancy guys. Alright. Peace to the king. Next week.